Some of the body specific tools are curved Lexan scissors, regular scissors, a sanding block, a rotary tool, a small sanding drum, a large sanding drum, a straight flute rotary file, a sharpie, a unibit, and an electric drill. Before you start trimming on a body, they're actually pretty rigid. So initially I don't try to cut any of the lines to any of the final lines. And what I do is I just do a rough trim just to make the body a little more flexible and to get more access to the body. I make many cuts that are perpendicular to the final cut line. Then staying 1.5 millimeters or 1 16th of an inch away from the cut lines, I try to trim off as much material with the scissors as possible. I do cut long straight sections to final cut lines with scissors. I use an electric drill with a unibit to drill body post holes. If you are careful, you can deburr the holes using the same unibit you drilled the holes with by carefully drilling from the back side. I then use the unibit to drill entry holes for the engine and fuel tank access. I then switch to a rotary file and a rotary tool to finish rough cutting the exterior of the body. I slotify one of the body post mount holes and I rough cut out the fuel tank access and the engine head cut out. After the body has been roughed out, I then switch over to sanding. This is where it's nice to have a regular air compressor with a spray hose. It makes cleaning the Lexan dust off you and the body much easier. I start off with the small sanding drum and a rotary tool and I use this to bring most contours to final shape and round over all sharp corners where it's convenient. I don't use the small sanding drum for touring car wheel cutouts and engine cylinder head cutouts. I use the large sanding drum for touring car wheel cutouts and engine head cutouts. Make sure to run the large sanding drum at medium to low speed. I use the sanding block to make all long straight edges straight. I prefer to cut out the body before painting because I can do a trial fit up and see if anything is hitting and most importantly see what kind of high speed needle valve access may be necessary. I mark this and any other interference issues with a sharpie and use any previous methods mentioned to make refinements to the body to get it to fit to the vehicle properly. Once the body fits properly I use a hobby knife and carefully deburr all of the edges of the body. We started with a body fresh out of the bag and now it's cut out, but we still have a ways to go before we're actually ready to start painting. The body is now ready to start being prepped, then masked, and eventually be painted. It has been scientifically proven that by subscribing to this channel, you will become marginally less marginal. Bye!